ओके गुड गुड मॉर्निंग माय सेल्फ इनेस गोगरे माय असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर पीके ऑफ कॉलेज ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर नासिक द रीजन व्हाई आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग दिस वीडियो इज अ रिसेंट आउटब्रेक ऑफ कोरोना वायरस दैट इज नोन एज कोविड 19 so i request you all to stay at home and stay safe and follow the instruction given by indian government you see i am going to start a lecture on plant nutrient care deficiency symptoms roles and correction measures you know what is a plant nutrient is any chemical element required for nutrient growth Uh, required for the growth and development of plant and you know where is macronutrients micronutrients micronutrient that is required in larger quantity that is known as a primary macronutrient secondary macronutrient nitrogen phosphorus potassium are primary macronutrient calcium magnesium and sulfur are secondary macronutrient and macronutrient is pm and lead and copper boron molybdenum and cobalt nickel chlorine ओके नाइट्रोजन फॉर नाइट्रोजन नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन इज रिवर्ड एंड बिफोर प्लांट्स एक्सेप्ट केमिकल फॉर्म केमिकल फॉर्म दैट इज ऑर्गेनिक फॉर्म मस्ट बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू केमिकल फॉर्म दैट इज फाइन नाइट्रोफिकेशन फर्स्ट नाइट्रोफिकेशन मेंटलाइजेशन एंड डीमेंटलाइजेशन ओके Let's start with functions of nitrogen in plants. Nitrogen is a component of all the proteins, enzymes, amino acids, and nucleic acids. Required for a chain ratio, carbohydrate and nitrogen ratio. High chain ratio, plant becomes more productive. That carbohydrate will be produced with the help of nitrogen in the chlorophyll. Low CN ratio, plant becomes more vegetative protein. Transamination, NO3 is get converted into NH2, then it is NH2 converted into glutamic acid and other amino acids. It is essential for fast growth, development of dark green color. What are the deficiency symptoms and toxicity symptoms? Of? nitrogen deficiency means means when an element is at low concentration then balance which show characteristic symptoms or distinct symptoms that is known as deficiency symptoms interest of nitrogen in deficiency symptoms does it produce only yellowing water leaves that is known as chlorophyll and reduces the reduces the growth again toxicity symptom toxicity means excess when an element is at high concentration then balance again reduce growth and limits yield reduce growth and limits yield that is known as toxicity for nitrogen shoot like shoot elongation is a toxicity symptom darker and succulent roots is the toxicity symptom for nitrogen for correcting the deficiency of nitrogen we add certain fertilizers based on type of soil the recommendation of the recommended fertilizers are ammonium nitrate calcium ammonium nitrate potassium nitrate And while you are getting on the urea, is a mild form. In each form, in this kind of nitrogen, the lower the soil pH, and in O3 form of nitrogen, due to its acidic nature, it it reduces the pH of soil. Some organic fertilizers, manures. Plant residue, green manure, and crop also add nitrogen, and nitrogen can be applied as a foliar application also. 
okay in this figure you show the dip uh, you see the dip uh, see the deficiency symptoms of natural which appears on lower leg that is known as a older leg deficiency of macronutrient that is npk calcium magnesium sulfur appears on older leaves because it is a highly mobile in plant nitrogen is a highly mobile so it uh, remark the development of vegetative growth it appears on older leaves these are the deficiency symptoms that is leaf turns yellow and in the state of nitrogen only then uh, we study the deficiency symptoms of phosphorus for deficiency of phosphorus is a mobile in plant tissues deficiency almost all the same older leaves it produces dark purplish or color on older leaves dark purplish color toxicity of tea causes deficiency of zinc copper fc and manganese it is called antagonistic effect deficiency of certain oh sorry toxicity of certain elements causes deficiency of specific element is known as the antagonistic effect which can be very well seen in phosphorus so to correct the deficiency of phosphorus we need to add certain fertilizer you may know this super phosphate single super phosphate double super phosphate and triple super phosphate which produces 15 32 and 48% of it produces and supplies then ammonium phosphate can be used as a phosphatic fertilizer bone meal can be used as a fertilizer Phosphatic fertilizer. These are in place of these which is not regarded for sleep. Okay. Then let's start the deficiency symptoms or roles and deficiency symptoms of uh, potassium. It is activator of many enzymes. Potassium is activator of many enzymes. It is required for opening and closing of stomata. regulation of water movements are called the membranes opening and closing of stomata regulates water movement are called the membranes that is known as bart cell function you may have read no well known name uh, crop physiology then let's start with deficiency and toxicity symptoms of potassium deficiency of potassium causes leaf margin necrosis and browning what is necrosis after being yellowing of plants that is known as chlorosis there occurs necrosis the leaves turn brown to blackish that is known as a necrosis and fall down older leaves are more affected because the tissue systems are not seen on older leaves only that are particular deficiency symptoms of potassium What is the toxicity of potassium? Leaf tip and marginal necrosis. Leaf tip and marginal necrosis. So to correct the deficiency symptoms of potassium, we need potassium chloride. That is, this is known as a mirror of potassium. Then potassium sulfate. That is known as a sulfate of potassium. The two sources. And potassium nitrate can be nitrate can be used as a fertilizer. Here is a deficiency of potassium that is known as a leaf margin necrosis. It will turn necrotic patches across the leaf tip margins. It is characteristic deficiency deficiency symptoms of potassium shown by the plant leaf. Okay. So to study the uh, deficiency symptoms of macronutrients, see the number one uh, number one leaf that is known as a central. That is no application, no uh, that is a clear cut. No any deficiency symptoms of macronutrients. 
second layer shows yellowish in color that is marked deficiency of nitrogen third layer shows dark purplish color which marked deficiency of phosphorus and a fourth layer shows lip tip margin necrosis which marks the deficiency of potassium and last layer which shows deficiency of all that is nitrogen phosphorus and potassium which turns yellowish dark yellowish and ultimately uh, after chlorosis it will become necrotic and fall down and death occur we all about deficiency in ocean by various uh, leaf it is also one and the same okay let's start the deficiency of the secondary macronutrient that is let's start with calcium function of calcium it is component of cell wall involved in various cell membrane function largely present as a calcium peptide in middle lamella what are the deficiencies it does it appears on younger leaves and new shoots because calcium is immobile in nature then it shows stunted growth distortion of leaves necrotic spots that is brownish and blackish spots shoot deep day calcium marks blossom in rot in tomato that is characteristic deficiency disorder in, in tomato that is known as a blossom in rot in tomato so fertilizers which correct the deficiency symptoms of today calcium is agriculture mean that is Ninety gram calcium, calcite and dolomite. Then lime CaCO3, gypsum calcium sulfate, super phosphate and bone meal also used as a correction for calcium deficiency. Here is the pictorial description of calcium deficiency known as a disorder blossom and drought in tomato. then second may secondary macronutrient that is a sulfur the functions of sulfur it is a component of amino acid particularly sulfur containing amino acid that is terrene cysteine consists of various coenzymes and vitamins responsible for pungency and flavor in onion garlic and mustard in onion Elite profile disulfide is present. That is the responsible for pungency. And in garlic, elite disulfide is the chemical uh, is responsible for pungency in garlic. Deficiency and toxicity symptoms of sulfur are. It shows light green or yellowing or new growth because sulfur is immobile. Toxicity not commonly seen but still there. For a correction of sulfur deficiency, we add gypsum, calcium sulfate, magnesium sulfate, MgS2, ammonium sulfate, and elemental sulfur also. Deficiency is done the role side correction measures of magnesium. It is a function, plant function as a core component of chlorophyll molecule. It is the one only element. Which is required in synthesis of chloral chlorophyll molecule and catalyst of certain enzymatic activity is the role of magnesium. The basic role is it is involved in synthesis of chlorophyll molecule. Third, deficient symptoms and toxicity symptoms. Intervenal chlorosis on mature leaves is deficient symptoms of magnesium. And Toxicity of magnesium. Uh, toxicity of magnesium is it causes different symptoms of calcium and potassium. It is also an antioxidant because for correction of the deficiency, we get certain fertilizers known as dolomite, calcium, CaCO3, and CaCO3 that is dolomite. Gypsum salt known as MgSO4, 
then magnesium nitrate and magnesium sulfate these are the deficiency symptoms of magnesium intervenous clauses on mature leaf deficiency symptoms appear on mature leaf or older leaf then micronutrients we will study the deficiency symptoms of micronutrients later so thank you very much <clears throat> role deficiency symptoms toxicity symptoms of micronutrient in continuation with deficiency symptoms of macronutrient so micronutrient elements what what, what are different micronutrient that is elements which are which is at low concentration than balance then optimum is regarded is regarded as a micronutrient which produces certain deficiency symptoms or less than 50 ppm known as a micronutrient that are the from micronutrients so that is fmn red and boron copper molybdenum copper chlorine these are termed as micronutrients the next start with the deficiency symptoms of uh, so role and deficiency symptoms of iron what is the role of iron it is component of various cytochromes that is uh, cell organelle needed for photosynthesis it is essential for nitrogen fixation that is known as nitrate reductase activity and respiration respiration process what are the different deficiency symptoms of iron for micronutrient deficiency symptoms usually occur on younger leaf that is newborn leaf deficiency is always occur on younger leaf and for my macronutrient deficiency symptoms occurs on older leaf we have to study for a deficiency of micronutrient which is always marked on younger leaf so what are the deficiency symptoms of iron that is intervenal process on that internal process on neurotic stress association neurot me uh, younger leaf because iron is immobile in nature iron chloride develops when soil ph is high iron chloride develops when soil ph is ultimately high these are the certain deficiency symptoms of iron for overcoming the deficiency symptoms we have to add certain fertilizer but, but in this case iron we add certain chelate not in only the iron chelate so what are these these chelates that is fedt that is regarded as fe330 which is stable at ph 7.0 and fedh that is f138 stable even ph is greater than 7.0 
because hydrogen is usually developed in higher periods. So a period is at least one period is uh, needed more most amount. For a lower lower soil phase, iron is more usually a C form that is a ferric form. The characteristic deficiency symptoms of iron is shown in particular figure. In figure one, that is interminal chlorosis on younger leaves. Then in figure four, you study the deficiency in the interminal chlorosis uh, in the sample B. Uh, figure number four is a comp uh, there is a no deficiency in terms it is a completely complete growth plan and b mark is the deficiency in terms of b mark deficiency in terms of iron that is internal chlorosis okay it is clearly represented in figure How these iron chelates appear? It is uh, IDT is a full form of IDT, it means diamond, tetraacetic acid. It is usually sometimes will be going to ask in your semiconductor examination. Then EDDHA, it is diamond dihydroxyphenyl acetic acid. Okay, this is the first correction. The chelates directly uh, made available to the unavailable plant. Then we study the deficient a uh, role and deficiency of the symptoms of manganese. What is the role of manganese? A required floor chlorophyll synthesis. And magnesium is involved in synthesis of chlorophyll. It is required floor chlorophyll synthesis, manganese. Photo evolution, photo evolution during photosynthesis. It is activator of some enzymes. Deficiency symptoms. Mortal chlorosis between main veins of new leaves. That is mortal chlorosis. That is mortal chlorosis can be presented in pictorial form later. That is similar to near. Yes, chlorosis. Then what are the different all the symptoms of manganese? That is chlorosis on new growth with small, numerous, and dark spots. There's a substance that's of manganese because it is involved in chlorosin synthesis. Excess of manganese causes chlorosis on new growth with higher dark Patches. Usually, deficiency occurs at higher pH and toxicity occurs at lower pH. For correction measures, we add certain fertilizers that is termed as manganese sulfate that is MNA sulfur, MNEDT that is manganese chelate used for high pH soil. This is uh, the role of, role of manganese. Deficiency and toxicity and correction measures testing. Or then second macronutrient is boron. The role of boron is involved in carbohydrate metabolism. Essential for flowering. Essential for flowering, pollen germination, and nitrogen metabolism. Deficiency is marked on new growth in distorted and malformed patches. Flowering and fruit seed gets depressed. Roots and tubers get distorted. Toxicity. Sweet dieback, fruit splitting, leaf just gets burned. These are certain toxicity symptoms of boron. Deficiency of boron causes cracking in pomegranate. It is a typical disorder of boron. So to overcome the deficiency of boron, 
we need to add a certain borax first and calcium borax. Then another macronutrient is zinc. The role of zinc that is it is involved in protein synthesis. RAA synthesis and indole acetic synthesis. What are the deficiencies in terms of zinc? Usually occurs in calcare cell in high pH. It produces certain growth suppression, reduce the internal length, rosetting, bush type appearance, rosetting in only bush type appearance, intervenal chlorosis on user leaves, because zinc is almost immobile in tissues. The water toxicity symptoms of zinc occur at locus. Growth reduction and lip chlorosis are typical toxicity symptoms of zinc. Uh, we can see the deficiency symptoms according to concentration in millimolar. Very well. Okay. The next micronutrient that is molybdenum. The role of my molybdenum is, is required for nitrate reductive activities and vitamin synthesis. What is nitrate reductive conversion of nitrate form into amide form? That is energy form gets converted by activity of nitrate reductive bacteria into NH2 form. Root chlorine battery also requires molybdenum. So, what are the deficient symptoms? Pale green color of leaves, coped in leaves because molybdenum is also immobile in nature, trap leaf and broad leaf plant usually occurs at low pH. Toxicity of molybdenum, fluorosis with orange color pigmentation is a specific, a specific toxicity symptom of. Molybdenum here. For correction of deficiency symptoms of molybdenum, we need to add sodium molybdate as a fertilizer. Then, next micronutrient is the copper. What is the role of copper? Essential component of several enzymes required in chlorophyll synthesis. Then, carbohydrate metabolism, metabolism. The deficiency cause roset growth or which is bloom like appearance. The deficiency causes roset type growth or which is bloom like appearance. Toxicity usually chlorosis. And for correction of deficiency, roset or which is bloom like appearance, we need to have a certain fertilizer that is known as a copper sulfate. Then chlorine. It is in order for a role of chlorine, which is in order in photosynthesis or oxygen revolution. Then deficiency normally not existing, only experimentally include. Normally deficiency not existing. Toxicity, leaf margin chlorosis, necrosis on leaves are typical toxicity symptoms of chlorine. Fertilizer. For chlorine, we never applied any fertilizer. Chlorine is an also tactile chlorine known as a bicyclic acid. Molybdenum deficiency produces vitellin cauliflower, particularly vitellin cauliflower. Okay, that's it. It is all about a role deficiency symptoms. Toxicity symptoms and correction measures and pictorial representation of deficiency of micronutrients. Thank you so much.
ओके हॅलो सर बोला सर तुम्ही ते क्वेश्चन दिले तर ते आम्ही डिस्ट्रीब्यूट केले सगळ्यांमध्ये तर फक्त आम्हाला ते क्वेश्चन तुम्हाला सेंड केले तर टॉपिक वरच फक्त नोट्स प्रोव्हाइड करा नोट्स प्रोव्हाइड करू बर नोट्स ऑलरेडी तुमच्याकडे नव्हत्या का कारण हार्ड कॉपी होती तर तू कोणाकडे नाही नाहीये सर तुम्ही इकडे ठेवले सर्व बरोबर ना बट एक मी तुम्हाला पीडीएफ शेअर करतो ज्या तुम्हाला ऑनलाईन तुझ्या अग्रमोन वर पीडीएफ येत काय साईल फर्टिलिटी तुम्हाला ग्रुप वर हो सर
Okay. Very quickly, I am again going to start lecture number twelve. That is organic minerals composition, its role and importance in soil fertility. What do you mean by organic manure first? Manures are, manures are the organic materials which is derived from plant, human, animal, physical fluids, which contain nutrients in complex organic form. It is classified into two. Number one, that is bulky organic manure, and uh, number two, that is concentrated organic manure. Well, let's going to start about what do you mean by bulky organic manure? The manures which are in bulky in nature contain plant nutrients in smaller quantities or lesser quantities, and which are to be acquired, are required to be applied in larger quantities are called as the bulky organic manure. What are the examples of bulky manure? Bulky organic manure or types of organic manure? Bulky organic manure. Number one, part made manure. The, uh, what are the residues which are farm itself is called as a farm made manure? Which includes mixture of dung and urine of farm animals, along with litter and leftover of material from refuse of fodder and feed. Which, which it contains about 0.5 percent nitrogen, 0.2 percent phosphorus, and 0.5 percent potash. Then compost. Uh, next uh, type of culture in is a compost. Compost are mass of filled water manure prepared by aerobic and anaerobic decomposition of organic matter. There are various types of compost. Compost from palm litter, compost from town that is called as urban compost, then mechanical compost, then night soil, human excreta. Night soil means human excreta, both in solid and liquid form is called as night soil. Then sewage and sludge. The solid portion of uh, solid portion of sanitation system is called as the sludge, and liquid portion is called as sewage. It is also called as sewage water. Then green manure. The types of green manure that is in situ and ex situ green manure. The crops used in green manure are sanium, dentia, lepsira. Gower that is Simosit Tetagonababa. Then agri industrial weights, gober glass, slurry, poultry manure, wood ash, husk, and weights. These are other sources. Then next step that is concentrated organic manures. Concentrated organic manures are the manures that are organic in nature, contain hyper, higher percentage of major plant nutrients like NPK. But requiring small quantity. This is called as a concentrated organic manures. In contrast to bulk organic manures, concentrated organic manures requiring small quantity provide nutrient in higher quantity. What are they? These are edible oil cake and non edible oil cake. Example of edible oil cake that is coconut cake, cotton seed cake, and groundnut cake. Non edible oil cake that is castor cake, currant cake, neem cake. These are sources of edible oil also. Okay. What are the factors of it? Manure value of decomposition of oil cakes that is CN ratio oil content and nutrient So This is about uh, organic manures. Then we have to study about what do you mean by green manuring?
green manure. Green manure can be defined as the growth of a crop for a specific purpose, which is to be incorporated into soil while it is still green. In view of providing nutrients after decomposition, when it is still green, is a practice of flowing or turning into the soil, anti-compose the green plant tissues for the purpose of improving physical condition of soil as well as restoring fertility of soil. It's called as a green manuring. Objectives of green manuring are increasing organic content in the soil, maintain and improve, improving soil structure, then reduction of loss of nutrients, particularly nitrogen, because nitrogen is very volatile in nature, which lost in atmosphere due to volatility and lost through soil due to leaching, leachability. So the de decomposition of this green manure provide nutrient is in smaller uh, smaller span. So it uh, it will be able to convert into inorganic form and plants get utilized. What are types of green manure? There are two types. Basically, green manuring in situ. Then green manuring in ex situ. <coughs> the inches and these are the examples of green manuring. Then another another source is wild indigo, Philipsera. <coughs> All that. Advantages of green manuring in situ. The green manure cap crop can be chosen to suit the particular soil, season, and water facility according to cropping pattern. It reduces expenditure on collection and transportation of green leaf. It reduces loss of nitrogen from the soil. These are advantages of green manuring in situ. It is all about organic manures or manures. Next time we will going to study about fertilizers. Uh, in regards or restoring soil fertility, we have to add organic manures. In organic manures, we have to add bulk organic manures, concentrated organic manures, and other sources. And fertilizers to restore soil fertility of a particular season crops. Every time you will have to restore soil fertility or restoring soil fertility, you have to add organic manures, fertilizers. Okay, it is all about organic manures. Next time we will be going to study about fertilizers and their sources. What are different types of fertilizer? Classification of fertilizer, that is nitrogenous fertilizer, phosphatic fertilizer, potassium fertilizer, and micronutrient fertilizer. It is all about any questions you can ask. Now you can turn on your mic. Anyone has a question? Hello? Abhay Singh Mane. Abhay Mane. Yes, sir. Any question? No, no. बर तुम्हाला आता सर्वांना एक सांगतो परत एकदा सांगतो प्रॉब्लेमॅटिक सॉइल चे रिक्लेमेशन मॅनेजमेंट अँड क्लासिफिकेशन कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक हा व्हिडिओ मी अपलोड केला दोन दिवसापूर्वी सर्वांनी बघितलाय का
Hello, I am speaking. I am speaking with you. Kindly reply. If not, reply in chat. Hello. 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 Oh, well, Hello? अरे कौन लगा है क्वेश्चन आई था टॉपिक मी कवर के तो मैकेनिजम ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट ट्रांसपोर्ट फ्रॉम सोइल टू प्लांट रूट्स आपण एक व्हिडिओ अपलोड करतो आणि आजचा जो टॉपिक झाले दोन ऑर्गेनिक मध्ये त्याच्या कंटिन्यूएशन मध्ये आपण फर्टिलाइजर नेक्स्ट टाइमला तो घेऊ आणि मी तुम्हाला काही नोट्स तुमच्या व्हॉट्सअपवर शेअर टाकतो आणि सर्व जे मी ते क्वेश्चन पेपर करा काही अडचण असेल तर पर्सनली कॉल करा ओके हो सर ओके सर रिप्लाई करते बाकी गुड न्यूज ऐसी लॉकडाउन ची गुड न्यूज का बैड न्यूज का बाहर पड़ू ना लर्निंग चालू ऑनलाइन ऑफलाइन ऑफलाइन चो विषय नहीं ऑनलाइन कर बट ठीक है तीन मे पर्यत तुम्हारा लॉकडाउन एक्सिड के भरपूर वे खूब सारे असाइनमेंट दिल जाते कम्प्लीट कर लेक्चर सीरीज कंटिन्ू रहे ज्यादा अपन सिलेबस टोटल कवर करू तो मैं घर मध्य थोड़स पॉसिबल नहीं जस मैं तुम्हारा करते शक्य तो मैं वीडियो तुम्हारा पोस्ट कर ठीक है ओके सर 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 थैंक यू वेरी मच ओके सर यस सर